Hi, I'm Todd Jones, host of the podcast Press Box Access. Here's a clip from my interview with Kevin Blackystone. Kevin tells us how there was never a dull moment with Jerry Jones, Jimmy Johnson, and the Dallas Cowboys in the 1990s. I mean, I think about it like, so you're at the Dallas Morning News in the 90s, and there's yeah. no bigger sports story at the time than the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, they're rolling. Huge. They're rolling the Super Bowl championships, 93, 94, 96. You got yeah. Jimmy and Jerry. You got all those guys. Um, so, so what was it like for you to be around the Cowboys? Uh, you know, Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith, on and on. What was it like being around that team, um, you know, trying to find something different and just trying sure. to, you know, make an understanding of what, what this is all about here? Well, having been born and reared in Washington, D.C., um, in a family that had season tickets uh, to see the Washington football team play before I was even born, um, and for whom religion was going to games on Sunday, and whose greatest memory in sports, most thrilling moment in, in boyhood was watching the Washington beat Dallas 26-3 to in the <laughs> NFC title game to go to the Super Bowl in 72. Hail to the Redskins, right? That's right, that's right. So I hated the Cowboys. I, mm. I hated the Cowboys. So now I've <laughs> got to cover them and try and be objective about it. Um, uh, and, and in fact, uh, Jim Jeffcoat, who was, one, who was a lineman on those teams um, and is originally from Jersey, uh, anytime Washington Week came up for Dallas, I would always joke with him. As I would leave the locker room, I would, say, I would tell him, you know Washington going to kick your ass this weekend. <laughs> and he'd just laugh. We'd, we'd have a good time about it. But – I mean, it was amazing to watch, you know, J Jimmy Johnson came in in 1989. Jerry Jones and Jimmy came in in 1989. They had a horrific year, mm -hmm. one in 15. The only game they won in Troy Aikman's rookie year was over Washington. So they get, yeah, they get rolling. You just, and the amazing thing really was to watch them piece together the talent, right? A Hall of Fame quarterback, a Hall of Fame wide receiver, a Hall of Fame um running back, um, maybe a Hall of Famer or two on the offensive line. Yeah, Larry um, Allen. Yeah, a few. Yeah, yeah Larry Allen. Um, probably a couple of, of Hall of Famers on defense. Um, and all of these um, college coaches, right? Jimmy came from mm -hmm. college. And he right. didn't really great, dip great too much too Miami. heavily. Yeah, he didn't really dip too heavily into NFL. He did it his way, and it worked. And I mean, they were, they were, they were really good. Do you have a favorite Jerry Jimmy story involved that you that you witnessed or were part of? Um, I'll tell you one I was part of. Um, I wrote a column. Uh, the, the Cowboys had this rookie running back one year uh, coming out of training camp was pretty good, and I, I can't remember his name. Um, but they were loaded at running back and they didn't want to, they didn't want to cut this, this guy loose. And so in the, in the last pre, after the last preseason game, um, all of a sudden he, he showed up on the injured reserve list, which meant that they could keep him around. And so I saw him in the locker room and I, I said to him, I said, when did you get when did you get hurt? And he said to me, when they told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So, so I wrote this, right, so I wrote this column basically saying um, that the, the Cowboys were learning the game, the system, just like, you know, just like Washington, which was famous for doing the same thing, and some other teams were famous for doing the same thing. And it was kind of a tongue-in-cheek column. Yeah, the injury report. You never can really trust the injury report, no, right? No, you can't. <laughs> so I come into to work the day that column ran, and Dave Smith calls me into his office. I go, oh, what, what, what's wrong? He says, he says Jimmy Johnson is livid at you. Mm. He says, he, he, he said, um, you didn't check with him about what the running back said, and now you're making him look like a liar. And I said, well. I just quoted what the what the guy said. He's on the list, so I assume you know he's hurt. Mm. He said, "Well, he's he's really mad. You should go talk to him." I said, okay. So I get in my car and I drive out to um, Valley Ranch, and uh, you know it was the day of coaches availability. And so 
um, after the after the availability, I just went up to the gym and I said, I, I heard I heard you're mad and you want to talk to me. He said, Yeah. He says, Come here. So we walked down the hallway away from the where they do the little press availability thing to the front door of his office. And he turns around and he's like nose to nose with with me and he is he's cussing me out. <laughs> you made me you made me look like a liar. Blah, 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 And so he gets done venting, and so I said, so this means I can't cover the team anymore? And he goes, <laughs> he goes, no! And I go, all right, we're good. <laughs> and, that, and that was it. Um, but, you know, that was one of the things that Galloway always taught me. He said, you know, if, you, if you're going to criticize someone, and even, and like I said, I looked at this as a, as a tongue-in-cheek column, right? Um, right, right. But you got you to gotta be available. You got to make them, and so that's that's what I yeah, did. Face the music, it, right? Yeah, just the music. Yeah. And in fact, show I remember up. The, it show up. That's exactly right. And I remember going out there that day, and waiting for the the. Uh, I was in the locker room waiting for the the coach's availability, and Michael Irvin came over, and he was like, he was like, man, that was some funny, that was some funny <laughs> shit you wrote about it. He said that was hilarious, man. He was he was rolling. Some other people said the same thing. But Jimmy didn't find it funny at all. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs>